pointed out that the, 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 the F them picks move that everybody always cites is Stafford, clearly. Uh, and not it wasn't just Stafford. They got Jalen Ramsey as well. The the Rams got hyper aggressive. Gave up. They went like six years without a first round pick. They just traded first round picks like crazy and a bunch of picks and won a Super Bowl. It was a strategy that they executed and it worked. Ah, uh, there were there have been other F them picks moves and other organizations have done it. And I mentioned how uh, Denver gave up two first, two seconds, and a fifth for Russell Wilson, and it 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 failed spectacularly Deshaun Watson to Cleveland was for three firsts a third and two fourths and that has obviously been an absolute disaster for Cleveland and I cited those as F them picks moves that didn't work and it's it you know it doesn't mean I'm afraid to make a big move let me be clear on that it's just if you're going to make a move like that It can fail catastrophically short-term and handcuff you long-term. So the fit has to be perfect in every way. You can't make a trade in the NFL that guarantees you're going to win a Super Bowl. You can make a trade in the NFL, and the Lions could, and I would imagine are attempting right now, to strengthen their percent chance of winning the Super Bowl. Look, as much as a setback as Hutch was, I think all it did was hurt their percent chance of winning the Super Bowl, but it didn't reduce it to zero. They're still in a better shape, in better shape than a lot of teams, including maybe, maybe every team in the NFC, I think we'll know in the next four weeks, given who they play, where they play them, the defenses they will face, and if the Lions can ride this elite offense to a Super Bowl, and can their defense do enough? But... I guess I, I wanted to bring up the spectacular fails in F them pick moves just to remind people that it guarantees nothing. And if you're wrong, it handcuffs you long term. So the Lions have set this thing up where they've signed their own guys with an expectation that they will continue to win throughout this era of Lions football with Amon Ra, with Penny Sewell, you know, with David Montgomery and Aline McNeil and with Derek Goff. And so they could wreck it with one really bad F them picks move. So you have to be sure the fit has to be perfect, which is why when you, when you bring players up and you realize that that guy might not have the motor, I mean, there was that, that was kind of the knock against chase young or a guy might want too much money, which might've been the knock against Montez sweat. The two big edge rushers that were available last year and the lions didn't move on. Those fits weren't perfect. What could be a fir- a perfect pick? Well, a perfect fit. That's for them to determine. And if they find it, I hope they move on it. But bottom line is it, it just has to be perfect. Has to be perfect. It's not a, I think this will work. It's a, it's got to work. It's got to come really, really close to, not, I mean, you can't guarantee anything, but it's really got to be a perfect fit. Yeah, and it's, uh, I, I think that there are certainly players that would be, but again, are they even available? And you have to operate under the guise of you know what you're doing. (laughs) And you have to have a plan. Your plan can't be a one-year plan. Your plan has to be years down the road. And I think it's clear and obvious that Brad Holmes has a long-term plan for the Lions. Otherwise, we wouldn't have seen the the signings that they've made in the last year with St. Brown and Sewell and Goff and McNeil and and all these other players, and Montgomery, and all these guys giving extensions before they're due, there's a reason they're doing that. They're looking long-term, and they're seeing this long-term. And he also knows how much money he's got to spend in the meantime. Yes, there's cap space for this current season, which might make all the sense in the world to go get Hassan Reddick, because this is a move that will not hurt you in the future if you're able to convince him to play here without getting an extension. And that, and that's and that's, that's the one that, but that's one that you're not going to have to trade three firsts to get them. No, two firsts to get them. You probably can get away with one pick and it doesn't have to be a first rounder. The Jets are trying to recoup. They're getting nothing out of San Reddick. They've traded multiple draft picks, second and third rounders, second or third rounders, I guess, cuz they they're they're conditional picks. They probably would take one of those back. And so that's the one that I think is in play. But if you have a perfect fit, I'm not afraid to go big, but it's probably why that big move 
is unlikely because there's so few perfect fits out there. 